Well, good day, people. Welcome. Today I want to start off by giving thanks to the Most High God, Creator of all living things, you know. Thanks for going out and are coming in from this time forevermore. Amen. Now, my beautiful people, today I'm going to throw down some fish and turn corn meal. Yeah. As you can see here, I got the corn meal and I got preparation to cut up for the fish. And here is the fish over here. So, you know, as you can see here, it's kind of like red snapper, you know? Yeah. So I'm gonna just start the process, people, and let you guys see how I made my fish and my turn corn meal. Stay tuned. Yes, guys. It's gonna be another epic move, you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, I got lemon. Yeah. Fish already scaled off. So, I'm going to squeeze lemon on the fish. Take out the rawness. Yeah. I'm going to squeeze the lemon. You're trying to make no seed get into the, the, the um that process all right you know what i'm cooking no seed in your food people so any seed round here got to go so what you do now you kind of bait the fish with your lemon you know the lemon already the fish already look about real neat scale all right and good so Best scenario now is to just get it organized. So that's what we're doing right now. I get the fish uh, set up, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, kind of rinse them off a little bit, you know? Fish right there. So, right now, I'll put the fish somewhere near till fish time come what I'm going to do now people I'm going to get the pot for the cornmeal which I should have try and get before I start this video so here is one pot here's another pot alright good so cornmeal pot going to be over here uh huh alright Light up the system, light it up. Alright, so you have it there. And this out the way. Alright, so your people. Take your time and bear with me, okay? So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got coconut oil right under my nose, right here. So here are now people. This is how we're gonna do it now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. We're gonna cut up some seasoning. And then after I cut up the seasoning, I'm gonna actually have the seasoning cook up with the cornmeal people alright she isn't going to cook up with the cornmeal so let me get this prepared so I can get it out of the way real fast mm -hmm. yeah so let me get the seeds and everything out of the way yeah Quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. and these seeds are going to be out of the way, real quick. Mmm, gosh. I almost waste one piece of my bell pepper already, you know, so I'm going to waste no more though. Mm -hmm. I swear. <laughs> Alright, good. So, yeah, get these things off now. And, um,. Now I wash them, wash them good, 
get this out because all of this going on the, the thing, you know, get that off, mm -hmm. create this character, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everything are going on the um, corn meal, you know? all of them vegetables on the same have all of this vegetable yeah? going in the corn meal, the ton corn meal me on it. You know? This turn can be happy and nice. Delicious, spontaneous, nutritious. Alright. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alright. Good. Get them washed now, people. And then cut up. Yeah. Get them wash and cut up. Mm-hmm. I may have some skelly and them. Skelly and people and me grow them. These skelly and I grow them outside. God grow them but I me plant them, you know? Plant them outside. Yeah. John no. I'm a little garden, you know? So Get off some of them leaf you off of my skeleton. You know? Get some wood. Real good leaves. Mm hmm. Alright, so yeah. Cut up time. Need to cut up these things real neat. melt out you know press out and melt out because you have to do a lot of pressing when you're cooking cornmeal so cut up these like this people um, dream, 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 dream. you can just do like this you know see them cut but then go melt up you know all of them thing you know, just so you do them people. Then bit by bit and limb by limb, you know. So all of this and plus you have some more. Bam. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So you want your car meal to be seasoned, you know, before you turn it. So I season this meal. Try make you know all ah, this gonna fry the fry up yeah and then the last thing gonna go in is you gonna see Kelly and now, as I was saying before, plant them skelly on the outside and I re harvest them, harvest these skelly on right now. As you know, not all the while can run by the shop. The reason why I cut up the skelly and everything go kind of um, fry down before putting the rest of things, you know. That's how we do it, people, yeah. Still young. Yeah.
Jones, one carrot, yeah, man. Alright. Watch how you do this now. I put this over here, sir. Alright, we're going to add coconut oil. Extra virgin. Yeah, the real deal. So yeah, let me go look for the spoon now. One spoon of oil, so the next one I hide. You notice that spoon I look like you don't even use often. So I use it today because we use that one there too much, the other one. Yeah. Now we just leave out this spoon and the spoon use good too. So yeah, board to, to metal or board to iron. Not iron to iron. No metal spoon to iron. You know? Especially them potters, them potter people. Then get scraped sometime if you use um, the, the, the iron to, to, to metal, you know? So that's why I use board. You see? Alright, good. You know? So I use the board spoon. So yes, people. Now, all this, I'm going to put it in this. Mm -hmm. I want it cook down in the oil and get tender you know mm -hmm. all of that are cooked down in the oil get tender but let me clean it off first put it in the oil mm -hmm. everything will get tender Please like, share, subscribe to this channel so I can hit the notification bell also, guys. You know, whenever I put up new content, up and running, you can see it. Bigger equipment in a Brazil will just start watching it. Very few. Thumbs up. Respect. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. Look at this beauty already. So me love to me my pot look you know. I tell you man. Thing looks so beautiful. Mm-hmm. So you yeah, people. Let this go on work the magic. So in the meantime, let me cut the coconut milk. And people. Notice, they have some coconut cream in a can and the reason why they buy coconut cream in a can today I didn't want to take no chance with the natural coconut from the shelf because sometimes I buy them at the store they ain't good after I break them they all milled you no good so that's why to them I say you know I don't want to waste my money and buy them even though you can bring them back sometime when we come home we just throw them away which we should have bring them back with the receipt and you know anyway too much detail but anyway people working the coconut milk you know more on this salt here down salt here down and then we can start, I can start putting the coconut milk right now too. That's what I should do, right? Alright, so I'm going to grab a spoon over here. Mm -hmm. Alright. So grab a spoon over here and then, then put in the coconut cream. All this ingredient is for the turn car meal. All of this is for the turn corn meal. Everything you see here is for the turn corn meal. Yes, guys, it's gonna be another epic move. Please like, share, and subscribe again. And notice, this coconut cream come with a kind of preservative thing. I don't know if you see, but I'm gonna show you. If you notice, I take off all the coconut cream, mostly. Watch, I'm taking on from out of the camera. 
I take off all of the coconut cream mostly and I leave something down there which I think is a preservative people where I can't trust it. I don't I don't want that into my food. So I take up because I know the coconut the coconut cream different, you know? So make sure I take it all. Uh, uh, good. Can smell the coconut cream. You know that coconut cream, but this, me no know how You see that? So me I throw away that. All of that, gone. That I preserve it, what they put for preserve it. Me no want that in my food. All right, extract that. Look at this now, people. The coconut milk, this one, the coconut cream. You know. Yeah, so people when you bust a can of them thing yeah, you make sure you do like what you see me do. Take out the cream and leave that preserv preservative water. So now people, back to my story. Allspice. Alright. Salt. Alright. Garlic. Notice me use a lot of garlic, you know, so how me do things different from how you do things. So if you gonna try this, you're not a lover of certain things, you don't have to have it. Alright, uh, you see this? Slowly but surely going down. Alright. Uh, I want this to get tender. I want all of these things here to get tender. The carrot, the sweet pepper, everything. Onion, everything gonna get tender. You notice my, my, my stove turn up off it. I'm more on the fire go on that it quick and you know. So in the meantime people, we got the fish here, you know. And I'll just drain off. I just drain up the, 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 some of the lemon up for the fish. Remember, I said I did lemon up this fish and I barely wash up the lemon. So, right now, this fish is full of lemon. So, what I'm going to do? Salt the fish. I'm going to salt the fish. Mm -hmm. Put some salt in this fish, ya people. Yeah. And I just see this fish that you know who gonna eat it and me. Most I knew chanting at the head. Alright. Once again people, I'm gonna put some more garlic from the fish. Who no love garlic it up to them. You don't have to do what you see me doing. You can just do your thing your way. You see? Okay. But it's just um, how I do my thing. So yeah, people, in the meantime, we're gonna have this fish stirred up. Make it look like so. the thing are going on it. Stir it up, get it seasoned up. See that? Mm-hmm. Garlic and the seasoning. Yeah. Alright, I soon go back to this. I have to deal with this in the pot. Look at this people. You see this? This is why you're gonna cook down your um, cornmeal into. Yeah, make it come down to a nice tender vegetable blend, you know? Alright, make it come down some more. Tender vegetable blend. Mm-hmm. All right, what next now? All right. I have a corn meal over here. Almost ready. This corn meal, gonna go into this. So let it, um, let it go down a bit. The coconut and everything blend up in it. Coconut blended with the um the bell pepper and the scallion and the onion and a little carrot. 
yeah and the steam from the coconut cream coming up it smells so nice now what more want to do again i'm gonna put in some time so i'm gonna head over to my timetable and get some time okay i got some time here mm -hmm. just rinse this time off and i'm gonna add some time and it's gonna be an epic different smell you smell this now people not on believe so yeah Woo! see the difference what the time give it the time give it a unique unique wow see that mm, mm. the time give the thing a unique smell you see not ordinary so when this get a little tender i can start putting in some more water and add the cornmeal and keep pressing because it's gonna get tender along the way while the cornmeal is you know steaming yeah so people heading over to my pipe to get some water now okay well i'm gonna get some water so yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment, because this is another epic move from Jamon Hypo. So this is boiled up again give it a few minutes and i'm gonna start add the cornmeal but in the meantime if you want to taste your product to find out if it's tasteable or if it has any enough ingredient to make it come to your taste you do like this and taste it you know mm -hmm. and if you need anything else you put it now i found out that this can take some more salt so do like this yeah don't have to put salt if you don't like to eat salt no people but i put it so whenever you're doing your thing do it like the way you want it don't follow everything you see i do just do it your way and then at the end of the day it shall come up nice in a your style as long as you have turned cornmeal you understand because a lot of people doesn't eat salt a lot of people have pressure and doesn't eat salt so here one of people i'm gonna turn on the stove for the fish you know and if you notice me just use the fish with salt and you know from the other day me kind of cut down for the spicy food yeah yeah they may have Jamaican drug seasoning in, a, in a this thing, I don't even know where it turned, but they ain't fussy right now. So, turn on the stove for the fish, and we're gonna add some oil. That's first step. I'm gonna make the fish fry crispy and nice, you know? Mm hmm. Fried fish, people. Fried fish and turn cornmeal. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm hmm. So, people, whenever you see this again, it's gonna be epic. Okay. So let me do one more thing. I'm just gonna start putting my fish in a bit mm -hmm. okay. so 
So let me um, let this thing boil up and then let this oil melt up and get hot. Whenever you see this again, people, things gonna be bubbling and frying, okay? All right, it's gonna be bubbling and frying. So yeah, people, if you notice, this oil is very hot. I'm gonna put in the fish now. I'm gonna put in the fish. Yes, and in the meantime, the cornmeal almost ready to go into. I'm going to give you an a, um, a illustration of how you do your cornmeal. When you put in your cornmeal. I think in one video I did cornmeal before, you know. Yeah, I did turn cornmeal before. In Jamaican style, so. What am I going to do now? I'll just add cornmeal, okay, people? Let you see how you rub the cornmeal and everything. So yes, you won't add your cornmeal. But this one, you're going to pour your cornmeal into a separate bowl. Yeah. And you don't want everything escape tonight. It all depends on how much water into this pot. So, alright, you're going to start pouring your cornmeal. And while you pour your cornmeal, you make sure you're rubbing. You make sure you're rubbing. So you want to press out every lump, you know. So watch it still. Watch what you're doing while you're pressing the lumps, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Pressing out lumps. Pressing out lumps. Pressing out lumps. Yeah. Yeah, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. And press as press as good as you can so you get out all along. Just keep pressing people. Stirring and press. Press up the side. Yeah? Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Yeah. Keep pressing people. Keep pressing, you know. I need to use a different order. Okay. You go a different order. Yeah. So you need a different order. You keep pressing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Cause you want to um, rub out lumps and the lumps consist of dried corn meal you don't want to have to deal with. So just press out any lumps that don't come up, you know. Look for them and press them out. You know. I don't want to get burned either. Alright, now hold it up like this. The reason why I love that pot here. Yeah. can hold it up all angry, you know? Press out rum, press out rum. Press me a press out rum, you know? And I guarantee you after I don't press these drums. You know? No more lumps gonna be in it to deal with after. So, got enough time now on that, turn it down. Alright. In the meantime, check this fish. Check this fish in the meantime. We don't turn down the fire a bit on that. But we have this to do with this, so we are fresh lungs still in our people. Fresh out lungs, you know? Mm -hmm. Don't let no lungs come in your team. Fresh out lungs. Fresh out lungs. 
Now when you sure so the lumps all gone, cover him up and make him steam. So I guarantee you, no lump no in height right now. All the lump been pressed out. So when you sure, real sure. And so people, real sure. Sure so the lump out, you can cover it down and make it steam. You want to steam soft and cook nice, you know? Mm-hmm. So, notice, see how it's going? See that. So, yeah. This is seasoned turn corn meal. And these food don't sell in restaurants. You take out this tight time stick. So, when you see this again, people, it's another move. So, let me turn, um, cover it up and let it steam. So next minute now, I'm gonna do with this fish. Mm -hmm. This fish, I have it here, and I'm gonna turn it. I'm turn this fish, real professional. Okay. Mm -hmm. This needs to turn, but it doesn't even stick. Okay, good. Okay, good. Turn this fish. Real professional fish. You see that? I saw you deal with fish when you fry fish, you know? Not just some guys, they cut the fish side. You can also cut the side of your fish and all that. But me don't do that. You just fry my fish one way. Yeah, because you notice me now I use no Jamaican jerk. Seasoning and all them spice today. Let's use salt and garlic and some um, all spice. I'm a good. I've been using too much spice in my food lately. This is good still, but at the same time, you cut down funny spice around three weeks now and just a deal with things natural. Because some of them spice, they want them to make, it come with different things where my system not really go with. So I just a use it with the salt and garlic, you know, and do the fish. All right? Mm-hmm. So anytime you buy things, make sure you read the ingredients and know what make it before you jump and use it. So yes, people. Turn down that. Alright. Notice I didn't use all of this cornmeal. Alright, so that's that measurement is good. Alright. And get take this out of the way too. Alright. Alright, see that of steam people? Steam that of steam in it. Then you're gonna stir it. Moment you open it, you're gonna stir it. Stir it up. Bob Marley said. Stir it, stir it, stir it. See that? Stir it, yeah, stir it, you know. You know? Yeah, stir it. The right amount of ingredient tonight. You know? The carrot. The bell pepper, the onion, the scallion, mm -hmm, the coconut, coconut cream, and all the old nine yard people. Everything coming down to success. Looking spontaneous, delicious, nutritious, you know, gorgeous and happy, and you know. Yeah, smiling, laughing, you know, giggling, you know. Yeah. So let them say what they want to say. We're cooking things our way, people. And I know you're going to like this part. Now, people, as I say, you don't have to put in everything that I just put in. in. I put in carrot, I put in onion, I put in skeleton. If you don't like carrot, you don't have to put it in. If you don't like onion, you don't have to put it in. As long as you have your coconut milk and your, and your cornmeal, or whatever you want to put in, it's up to you. I'm just doing things my way. Alright? So you, you do it your way. Whenever you get the time, just add up some of my style, add to your style. You come up with the same turn car meal, you know? You see what I'm saying? This turn car meal is steaming slowly. Yeah. Slowly but surely. Mm-hmm. So when you see this again, it's another epic move, people. 
Yeah, make them steam. All right. Okay, people, so next thing, I'm gonna add some spinach to my diet today. And spinach that is at the store, spinach leaves. So I'm gonna have the spinach leaves washed. And then I'm gonna add some things to it. You know? So most likely you wash the spinach with salt. You know? Then wash out the spinach with some salt, people. Mm -hmm. So this is what I'm gonna consume with the food. Yeah. So yeah. You notice the spinach when we buy at the store. It's all prepared, washed and everything already, but you have to double wash it and make sure, you know? Clean spinach. No joke. So See it there? It's clean and nice and happy. See my show now, yeah? Happy and clean. You know? Mm hmm So let's do next now, people. I'm gonna add some sesame oil to this spinach. You know? I'll, put, I'll probably put a little teeny tip Ah, uh, rice vinegar and the spinach to bring up the um, you know? Yeah. So I'm gonna have the spinach and then I mix it around. This is the spinach that's gonna go with my meal. You know? Yeah. Simple. It's very simple. That's how I'm gonna have it. So. In the meantime, let me go back on this, um, let me go back on this, uh, cornmeal, which I'm sure this cornmeal is cooked. So yeah, people, turn off the stove as you can see here, only leave this still, and I'm stirring it up now. This cornmeal is cooked. Everything is cooked. Yeah. The star meal is ready to be served whenever the meal is all cooked and everything. Fry up the fish and everything ready. So the star meal is ready. Turn corn meal. Season turn corn meal. So, alright. You notice this fish now is ready. So I'm gonna take this fish out of the pot, people. And put it into a Clear. This fish ready. And dinner done cook. And ready to be served. So dinner. Sometime let me clear up this counter. Get things where it to go. Put back what we put in our we put put. Right there, sir. Alright. Yeah man. Everything where we go back, go back, making space. Get two plate out of my arm. Over right there, so. Mm hmm. Shave them right by you, so. Mm hmm. Alright. Okay, so. This is how I'm going to do it now. I need to try and get this arm. Um, this, uh fish out of the pot you know any means necessary without have to tear it up and all of that you know mm. come on get out all right in ten minutes tear a bit but it look good right see that fish look good huh all right that's a step one Step two, get out the other one, you know, so you do it, people, oh gosh, yeah, get out the other one out of the pot, people, what you have to so I have to go get back into the plate, because it's still very clean, you know, good, so, 
Nice and happy. Nice and happy. All right. Boat is all done. And um, no. Watch me now. Don't burn yourself, Mikey. All right. So I'm going to serve some turned seasoned cornmeal. Or seasoned turned cornmeal. To that. All right. Right there, so that me I do. Serve him up. Serve him up, people. Remember me tell you, so them food they don't cook in a restaurant. You know, them food they are expensive. Turn corn meal. Can't get it no better than this. All right. So yes, people, and then. I'm gonna add some spinach leaves. So watch me. Let me just clean up this spoon here, cause I think that's the best way to use it now. And uh, take out these spinach leaves that I'm gonna add to my food. And this is really steady diet, people. All right, good. See there? See the people. Make sure we to see good. Alright. I eat this in you know. mm -hmm. See the right the sign you know, of people that you know. I eat that you know. Yeah man. Let me clear the counter. Show sure, no. It's no joke to me game. No shame to me game. This is how it look, people. Fried fish. Yeah? Mm-hmm. See there? Set him as to make him look representative. Yeah. You know, like the house of representative. <laughs> All right. See there, people? No. A different step coming in. I'm gonna get too far. I'm coming in for that. Alright. This is how it is, people. You can't get it no better. See there? Mm hmm. This is how it is. This is how it is, people. Seasoned turn cornmeal and fry fish. You see? Mm-hmm. This is how it is. Let me um, actually let me do this. Season turn corn meal and fry fish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, people. It's another epic move, you know? Mm -hmm. Seasoned turn corn meal and fried fish. Now people don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification button. Leave a comment. Mm -hmm. This is how we do it. Real deal. Yes, guys, it's another epic move I pull off a while ago, you know? Yes, guys. Now for the taste time. Gonna taste this meal and let you know what's up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Mmm, whoa. People, turn car meal with the coconut milk and bell pepper and the carrot. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. See it there? Another epic move. Season turn corn meal people. You don't get this no different. Couldn't get it any better. Mm-hmm. And people, to go with this, I'm gonna have to draw. I might have to draw for some. Let's see you now what best thing for draw for us. Pomegranate, cranberry or apple. Let me draw some apple juice. Natural apple juice, people. Mm-hmm. Real natural. Mm-hmm. Let me get two cups. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two cups. Mm -hmm. The corn meal called the juice, you know. And then we're gonna serve them. One love. 